if anybody jumps on late, um, you can go back and listen to the recording. Um, if you have any questions, you guys can, you know, type them into the chat. Um, I'll go through them as we go. Um, and yeah, anything along the way, if there's anything that I'm covering that you have another question about either, you know, unmute yourself and, and talk or put it in the chat. Um, or if you think of something after, um, post your questions um, in the video link and stuff too. Sorry, my dog's like, needs to go outside. If it's not a child, it's a dog. All right, so, so I'm tripping over toys. I'm gonna do a screen share and kind of just, um, so this is kind of an intro call. So I am planning on doing a weekly check-in call in this group. Um, I'll probably do a little poll on what time, and then we'll just try to choose a, a time every week that works best for everybody. Because I know with commitments and um, agendas and other stuff and work and all kinds of stuff that it's hard to make it work for everybody. But if we can kind of do a majority, um, then we'll do that. So, um, so I would like to do kind of just a weekly call, um, just to check in, answer any questions, progress, all of that stuff. Um, so this is kind of just going to be a little bit of a kickoff call. And um, you might be totally familiar with the program, the nutrition plans, all of that stuff already. You might have already taken the time to dive through everything and get familiar, or you may be just brand new and are overwhelmed and confused and frustrated and not sure where to start. So hopefully um, I can kind of ease some of that um, <clears throat> frustration and questions and stuff tonight. So um, I'm gonna do a little screen share to start. And don't mind my messy desktop. Um, dive into the to Beachbody On Demand. You guys can see my screen okay? Um, so this is a Team Beachbody website. If you've been with Beachbody for more than a month, you'll know that they've recently updated the website and made some changes in a very positive direction for the website, making it a lot more user-friendly along with Beachbody On Demand. Um, so I wanna just kind of give you a little breakdown on Beachbody On Demand. That's the website. You can go to teambeachbody.com, get to Beachbody On Demand through there. <clears throat> And that just automatically pops up. You do have to log in. Same thing from your phone. What's nice about your phone is that you can download and save unlimited amounts of workouts. So that way, um, if you're going to be traveling and you don't know if you're going to have the ability to stream them or if you're going to be somewhere where there's not, like where there's sketchy internet, you can download and save the workouts to your phone. So that way, you'll still at least, anytime during this program, you'll still be able to access the workouts because um, they'll be saved on your phone as opposed to having to pull them up and stream them. If that's something you want to do ahead of time too, if you anticipate that um, there might be a lot of traffic for the workouts on the website this next week as everybody's getting started. So hopefully we won't have any issues with streaming, but I just will let you know we've had something happen in the past where there's been a lot of traffic on the website and it's been difficult to log in and access the workouts or they've kind of had difficulty streaming. But I think they've got that fixed. So, um, so this is what your BOD looks like. Um, this is your, all of the programs. Yes, you have access to all of these. Even though this group is 80 day obsession, you do have access to literally every single program in um, Beachbody history and anything new that comes out in the next um, year for, or for as long as you have your Beachbody on demand membership. So your 80 day obsession, um, every week Autumn is going to have a weekly obsession in here and that's just kind of a little video talking about the program 15 minutes usually every week she's going to talk about the kind of just what to expect this week um, <clears throat> so that's something that I would probably make time over the weekend every weekend before your week starts to just get an idea so that way you have an idea the workouts for the weeks are going to upload on Sundays and then they'll be available basically we our workout weeks are Monday through Sunday so every Sunday she'll load in the next seven days of workouts so we can't skip ahead I don't know what's coming this is all brand new to me too so 
as much as I would love to say, hey, uh, next week's going to be really crazy, I, it might be, it might not. So um, we're kind of all beginners in this together. I do know that there are three phases to the program. And there is kind of an intro, like just really kind of get your body moving phase. And then there's kind of a building phase. And then towards the end, we, there's like a peak week where you really just focus on like you drop your carbs out, you lean out, you just really drive it home and like really finalize the results for this program. Um, so there's just some stuff in there. Your workout list will be where you find your workouts. The program materials is where you find everything else. Starter guide, the eating plans. There are vegan eating plans. Yes, those do differ. It's not just eliminating the like meats from that. Um, it's using protein sources um, from using different protein sources. So like beans and lentils and things like that become protein sources. So if you are a vegan, if you're partially vegan, this is something that you need to be familiar with. And if you have questions about that, I'm more than happy to kind of walk through that with you one-on-one -on -one too. Food lists, um, and then there's your workout calendar. And then you do have the tracker sheets that you can print out. Um, you can kind of go through these and see what these look like, these phase two, phase three things. If you're that curious to know what's coming, or if you're like, I just want to be surprised and take it day, day at a time, then do that too. Um, there's some FAQs in here. And then we do have them in um, Spanish and French as well. <clears throat> so um, real quick on the quick start guide, I just want to talk about the importance of before pictures. And I know that's super intimidating and scary and um, overwhelming and humbling at the same time. And I remember taking my very first before pictures when I started with Beachbody. And I had this like vision in my mind how I thought I looked. And then I took my pictures and I was like, what? Like, <laughs> is that really me? And I was like, I was shocked because, you know, here I thought I had been working out and I, and I just wasn't in the shape that I mentally thought that I was in. And that for me was like a, this, this is it. Like, these are my bye-bye pictures because I'm done looking like that. And there's, you know, this is, it can only go up from here. And um, so think about that when you take your before pictures, like everybody has a day one, everybody has a beginning. We all start somewhere and wave bye-bye to these pictures because after these 80 days, we are going to, we're going to see some amazing results. I'm really excited. If you guys have seen some of the pictures I posted in the photo albums of the before and afters, this program works. This program works. You will get results. You will see abs pop. You will see muscles grow. You will see your butt start to shape up. Um, you'll see just all kinds of definition, and then you'll start to feel that physical transformation as well. You'll start to feel your energy levels jump up. You'll start to feel less sluggish. You'll start to just feel stronger, and it's an amazing feeling. And I, like, I really don't know what to expect as far as all of that goes with this program. I can only tell you what I've heard from some of the coaches I know that were in the test group, but, um, but to feel that strength and to feel your muscles get stronger and to see your body change is a really, really amazing feeling. Um, the calorie target I posted the other day, that's pretty crucial to know that like now. So if that's not something that you've done yet, that needs to be done like going into this next week because we've got to get our meal planning set this weekend to have everything planned, set up, and ready to go. Guys, I'm gonna say like the nutrition is the hardest part, not just with this program, but any fitness program, any just anything that you do. The nutrition is always the hardest part because it's the easiest thing to just let go. I mean, we can get up, we can work out, we can push play, but keeping the nutrition in check, you know what? You go in, you go into work, you go into the break room, there's a tray of donuts. Like it's it's so easy. The wine, like my gosh, you know, that's me once a week at least having some wine and um so the nutrition will be the most difficult but it's also something that doesn't have to be if we simplify it if we plan ahead and we stick to it and this group there's 70 of us in here i'm going to share a variety of meal plans that um, i've some other coaches have shared with me as well so that way we have an abundance i don't feel i don't want you to feel like you have to use all of them 
and do all of the things and do crazy recipes and stuff like that. Do what works best for you. Keep it simple. Whatever makes it easiest for you, just do that. So it is important to know <coughs> your calories here. So you do need to know your caloric baseline. Now your maintenance calories. If you are like, I don't want to lose any weight. I just want to maintain. I want to tone up my muscles a little bit. Um, then you need to stay here in the maintenance calories. Um, if you do have some weight to lose, if you do want to burn some fat, if you do want to see a little bit more of a transformation, then this is your calorie target. Now I will caution you guys because some of us have done our calorie targets and they are lower than 1200 or they're, they seem pretty low. And if you've done your calorie target and you're like, this doesn't seem right. Like, I feel like I should be eating more than this then you probably should. Um, but I do want you to give it a go. I don't want anybody to be under 1200 calories at all. Cause these workouts, if you have an Apple watch, a calorie tracker or a, like a heart rate monitor or anything like that, that tracks how many calories you burn. I want you to stay in tune with that during this, during this program, during the first couple of weeks and just see what you're burning because you should be burning anywhere from probably 400 to 700 calories per workout. These workouts are a little bit more intense than like 21 day fix or the a little obsessed workouts that we've been doing. So you will see a jump up in your calories. So if you're sitting at 1200 calories and you're burning six to 700 calories, you're gonna have a really hard time just getting through the day with enough energy. So I just, I will caution you on the very, very low end of caloric range to just keep that in mind. Um, trust the process and the nutrition and calories and all of that will come together for you. So if you need help cal calculating that calorie target or working through that, <clears throat> again, that's something I can help you with. Um, so phase one, this is the first little bit. We will get to phase two and three um, and we'll, we'll recalculate everything um, when we get to those two and three phases. Um, and then, of course, you know, there's your plans. And I just posted all of those in the file section. I posted plans A through D. I haven't posted E and F yet. If anybody has the E and F plans, I can share those. You can always access them um, from the back office here. So, or from the from Beachbody On Demand. So your program materials, your eating plans. So I'm going to just dive into an eating plan real quick. And I want to touch a little bit on that. And actually, I have some notes here that I wanted to cover. <clears throat> um, and we will be doing pictures at each phase. After phase one, we'll do another set of pictures. After phase two, we'll do another set of pictures. And then again, after phase three at the end. Um, <clears throat> so, um, so again, if you feel like you're low on your calorie ranges, if you're hangry, like you are just totally famished all day long, then there's a chance you probably need to bump up your calories. Um, I don't want you to feel over full though. So if you feel like what your calorie range is and you're like, dude, I just like, I'm shoving food in my mouth all day. It's way too much. I can't do it. Then we might need to dip down a little bit. Um, <coughs> your eating plan here is, so there's, a, there's an allotted amount of containers for each eating plan. This is not, this, these containers have to be consumed in one day and they need to be consumed the way that the workout or the, the way that the nutrition plan goes. You can't mix and match containers for certain meals. She designed this program for a reason to have these amount of containers at certain times. Yes, two to three hours. Now, I understand there are nurses in here, there are people that work long shifts, and it's not always possible to eat every two to three hours. Packing our lunch is going to be kind of the saving grace. Um, so keeping, you know, keeping meals prepped and packed and things like that with you so that way you can eat when you can um, is really probably going to be the best advice that I can give to you. Um, but these containers have to be consumed at these meals. Now, as far as the pre-workout meal, because I want to touch on that because I know that a lot of you guys have had some questions about the pre-workout meal. And I'm not just talking to you guys on the call. I'm talking to anybody that's listening on, on the recording. Um, but <clears throat> so the pre-workout meal is, and I kind of did a little video on this and I shared a little bit 
um, of a video from Autumn too. And that is something that if you wake up at 5 a.m., I'm not going to ask you to get up at 3.30 to eat a pre-workout meal. If you want to work out at 7, I'm not saying you need to get out of bed at 5 and start cooking breakfast. That's ridiculous. I mean, that's, let's make, let's, I mean, let's be honest. Let's, no, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to do it. I get up at 6. I'm not getting up at 4.30 to start cooking myself breakfast. Um, but I am going to prepare to have things to eat prior to my workout um, in the morning. So what I'm going to tell you and what I'm, what Autumn has said is you have to have a pre-workout something food before your workout, no matter what, whether it's the pre-workout meal, the green, red, yellow, and teaspoon, which can be like eggs, spinach, potatoes, and a teaspoon of oatmeal. Um, if you're working out later in the day, then that pre-workout meal can be, you know, potato, um, vegetable, chicken, and cooked in a teaspoon of oil. Um, <clears throat> that's fine. If you're working out first thing in the morning, you do have to have a pre-workout meal, no exception. And she does give the other option for meal option one, which is a purple, a red, and a teaspoon, which can be a handful of berries, a hard boiled egg, and a teaspoon of peanut butter. Um, so that's okay. And if you eat 30 minutes before you start your workout, that's okay. So the point of having something in your body before your workout is because if you go to lift weights and you have nothing in your body, then your body is going to tap into whatever it can find to burn fuel to get you through your workout. Yeah, it would be great if it was fat. It would be great if we could just get up and we could lift weights and our body would burn all that fat and then we would have ripped muscles and everybody would be happy. But we know that's not the case. And a lot of times your body taps into your muscles to fuel your body through your workouts. So what's the point in tapping into our muscles if we're trying to build our muscles? Then we're not going to see any results at all. So the reason for having these nutrients in our body before we do a workout is because it's going to kind of substitute where our body would look for other sources for fuel. And it's gonna use the food as fuel for our workouts. So there's, and she, I'll, I'll share the video that she shared, um, I think it was today, and she was, it was a, like a total tough love video. And she's like, here's the deal, you're gonna have a pre-workout meal. You have to, no exceptions. Um, so <laughs> as much of a hard pill as that may be to swallow, it's okay if you do it and you, Take your bite as you're walking down your stairs to your basement and do your workout. Um, try to get your pre-workout in there too. That's, I can't say enough about Energize and using that as a pre-workout. It acts as kind of a, like a ramped up fuel for your body, for your workouts. It kind of gives you a little bit more endurance, um, sustains you a little bit longer through your workout. So I personally eat it like I just dump the scoop in my mouth. I eat it like a pixie stick and I love it that way. If that's not something that you like, a lot of times people like kind of choke on it if they do that for the first time. That's okay. You can try it that way. You can mix it in, you know, an ounce of water and do a shot of it. Um, nothing like doing shots at six in the morning. Um, <clears throat> so pre-workout, yes, absolutely before your workout. If you're not using the pre-workout supplement, that's okay. Um, but you, but that pre-workout meal, getting that fuel in your body first is essential to your results from this program. Um, does anybody have any questions so far? Anything that you want to know about specifics, anything like that? <coughs> um, so, um, so pre-workout meal, meal option one, that means if you use that meal option one as your pre-workout meal then those other containers have to be used somewhere else in the day. So you still have to have those containers for your container counts all have to be consumed within that day. And they have to be consumed in the order that they're written here for the other timed meals and the workout block. I gotta let my dog in real quick, guys. Um, so I do wanna touch on the supplements because I know there are some that are using the supplements and some that are not and some that have asked like is it essential to my results if I use the supplements and um, and I can tell you a couple things about that 
So I will say that there is, hold on guys, sorry. So this group is, we are all using at least Shakeology in this group. Um, there is no exception to that, at least for the first 30 days. <clears throat> now after 30 days, if you, for some reason, are unable to use Shakeology anymore, we need to talk. Um, and then we'll kind of go case by case. Pre-workout supple or uh, performance supplements, is that essential to your results? Guys, if you want to do everything exactly as Autumn has written it, then yes, I would say 100% they are. I am using the Energize and the Recover. I don't use the Hydrate. I don't use the recharge. It is a lot of protein in one day. The recharge is like 21 grams, um, and then the recover is 24. Um, as somebody who is, who is building muscle, um, as a female, we need anywhere from 1.8 to 2.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight we are. <coughs> so, um, so, at least 125 to 100 and well 125 to about 250 pounds 250 grams of protein um, is what we need in a day so shakeology has 17 your recover has 24 that takes care of a, a good chunk of protein and protein is necessary for muscle synthesis for muscle regeneration so we have to have that protein, it is essential. So if you are struggling with getting extra protein sources in, then yes, 100%, the Recover is a great way for you to do that, especially to have it after a workout. Um, Post-workout, if you're not doing the, pro the Recover supplement, then use your Shakeology. That's a great source of protein. If you're not using Shakeology after your workout, then you have to have another source of protein, which would be a red container. And I would recommend like, a chicken breast and then you know a banana or whatever the purple container is that you choose to use fruit apple um, anything like that so um, post workout though you do need that protein source so if you're not using recover shakeology it is and then if not protein um, some source of a, a protein <clears throat> 30 minutes within your post workout though because that is when our muscles are at their like ripest and they need that source of protein so they can begin that um, repair and, and regrowth. Um, so I just wanna suggest this for the containers because I know one thing with the containers has been like how am I supposed to attract this stuff? I work, I don't have time to remember to eat all the time, I can't remember it you know, every three hours. Um, set alarms on your phone is a great way to do it and use the colored emoji hearts on your alarms. So say your post-workout is at um, 7 a.m. You do your post-workout recover. Um, and then one to two hours after that. So say at nine o'clock is your next meal. Then put your, in your alarm at nine o'clock, a green heart, a red heart, a yellow heart, and then a spoon. And that way you know at nine o'clock, this is the meal that I'm supposed to have. And, if, and that's just kind of an easy way to do it on your own, so that way you don't have to like carry a binder and track your sheets or anything like that. You can use the notes on your phone too, but maybe just for the first week or so, kind of just getting familiar with the containers and the times and things like that in that regard, that you can set an alarm for yourself um, that will just allow you to kind of have that reminder. Um, but again, like this is the, this is kind of the schedule for, and the, the containers are different for each meal plan. So this is the same setup for every meal plan. It's just that the containers, you have a little bit more of um, each one. The workouts do go six days on, one day off. Um, Sundays are gonna be our rest days, kind of a rest, recover, recharge day. You do not need to take your supplements on Sundays. Um, there is a separate, um, little, like you can just eliminate your, um, your supplements. She does give some really great examples here in this nutrition guide on like what a day is like for eating. And then there is your rest day 
meal plan in here. As we get further into this program, there will be a refeed day that is in here too. We don't really need to talk about that now. It's kind of like a kind of like a carb loading day, which is nice. You kind of get some extra carbs and stuff like that, kind of like a cheat day. Um, and that just helps fuel your muscles for even bigger growth. And then there is a peak week in here, which we will get to towards the end. Um, but on our rest day, she has a workout called roll and release that's on there. And, um, foam roller. I had mentioned about getting a foam roller. If that's something that you want to, if you want to get great, if you have a yoga mat, you can always like roll it up and like tie it and kind of use that. But a fellow coach friend of ours, um, posted tonight. And so I went at Aldi, they have foam rollers. So nine 99, I went and got, it's just a little foam roller. I don't own one. I know Whitney in here. Um, she's a PT and she recommends using a foam roller. Um, there have been some controversial talk on using foam rollers, um, but nothing that has said you should never use a foam roller. Um, I know that they can be beneficial if you use them in the right way. So that way, uh, so I would just say, you know, do the, the roll and release 20 minute video on Sunday, just to kind of see how she suggests using a foam roller. Um, on the, somewhere on Beachbody On Demand, there is a foam roller workout. It might be in, um, I can't remember what it is. I'll have to look for it. But that way there's another, um, something you can use as a, as a substitute. If you take your rest day as a total rest day and don't do a thing, that's okay too. You don't have to work out on your rest day or do a foam rolling day. But if you're sore, by all means. And if you're sore midweek, you can always add in that roll and release or throw in some extra um, foam rolling stuff. And then also Epsom salt is great for muscle soreness. So if you don't have any, I would get some, take a hot bath on Sundays, um, throw some Epsom salt in there. That kind of helps pull out any tightness and tenderness um, that you have. So let me see. Um, so make sure we don't have any questions. Um, <clears throat> I think that's all I have specifically about the um, 80 day obsession itself and kind of everything you need to know about the program. Um, grocery shopping, meal prepping, some pantry staples and stuff like that. I just want to cover real quick. Um, and that is going to be essential to your success every week in this group is just getting prepped and planned. Um, Sundays are our meal prep day. You don't have to do that on Sunday. You can do it another time where you don't have to spend your Sunday prepping for the whole week. You can meal prep multiple times during the week. If you're somebody who just likes to cut up everything and have it in the fridge and then you just grab and go, that's fine too. Um, but having your printouts and on here, um, you have the uh, menu planner um, thing in here that you can use. I do have some other great resources that I'm going to post in the file section as far as tracking goes. Um, tracking your meals and containers and like little things you can take with you. And I do have a working document that you can use also as a meal tracking guide um, too. So I will share those with you guys more throughout this week just getting familiar, but I will suggest doing a Sunday meal prep this Sunday. And I'm working on a meal plan based on this. Um, I'm going to do the plan B and do a meal plan based on that. Um, and I do have some other meal plans from some other coaches for different plans too, that I will share. Um, but I'm going to do a meal plan for that specifically. And then you're more than welcome to use it. You can follow it to a T or you can go on here onto Beachbody on demand and click on this little blog tab, which is great. Can you still see my screen, guys? <coughs> okay. And then over here under, you have your pre-workout meals and your post-workout meals for 80-day obsession. There's eating plan explained. There's all kinds of really great stuff underneath this blog, just in general. But what's nice is you have recipes here. And all of the recipes on Beachbody On Demand are broken down well, not only are they broken down here, so you can like search them by whatever you want to cook, but, and then you can search, like, say you only have beef in your fridge and you're like, I need a beef meal. You can search that. Um, but you can search these meals 
based on your containers too. Um, so every recipe in here has the container equivalents, which is really great. And actually this turkey chili is really yummy. I've made this before. And it shows you your breakdown too of your nutrition facts. So if you're somebody who is curious to know like how many grams of carbs does that have in it? What is, you know, my protein content? That's all in here too. Um, but it's nice because it has your containers. So a lot of times I link recipes in our meal plans to either the blog or something that I put on my um, website too. But it's nice because it gives you all of these goodies in here for everything. Um, so that's kind of just a nice little thing to use and to have access to. <clears throat> and that's for, for everybody that has Beachbody on demand. Um, so I will say with the meal planning, um, just schedule in a chunk of your day, this one of your days this weekend, to spend probably two hours you know, at least shopping, getting prepped, um, and sitting down and writing out, you know, some things that you want to have or print out the recipes or the menu that I'm, that I'm posting in the file section too, just so you have that. So that way, you know, um, Hobby Lobby has a really great dry erase board right now. That's like eight bucks. That is like a Monday through Saturday. Um, and I've got it hanging up in my kitchen and I just write my dinner meals out on there. Um, so if that's, or just a regular dry erase board you can get. Um, and I've also used a picture frame with a blank piece of paper and use that as a dry erase board um, to just write my dinner meals for the week. So that way, when, if we're out all day and come home, I'm like, all right, I know we're having chicken, broccoli, and rice tonight. So that's what I'm making. So that way there isn't any question and you're kind of planned ahead. Um, <clears throat> families, tap into your spouse, significant other, kids, and get some feedback from them. What do you guys like to eat? What do you want to eat? This is what we're, you know, this is what mom's doing for the next few months. I'm gonna need your support, and I'm, you know, I'm gonna get results with this program, so I really need your support and encouragement. So please don't, you know, tell me that you think my food is gross. Please don't, like, shame me for what I'm eating. Like, because you know what? Like, my husband hates seafood. And if I make anything with seafood in it, he's like, ugh, get that out of here. And I'm like, I love shrimp. Like, I want to eat shrimp stir fry. So he knows, like, not to tell me that he thinks my food is gross because that's not nice. Um, but just talk to your family or, who, you know, whoever um, is a good support system for you on this journey and say, listen, like, I'm doing this thing and I'm really excited about it. I could use a little extra support and encouragement. So can you just be there for me? If you're mom, like my mom, hey, want to come get a glass of wine? Like she knows, mom, you got to knock it off for a while because <laughs> I'm trying to do this thing. So tell your people that. Tell the people that are, you know, maybe influential to your habits that, hey, like give me a little grace here and let me do my thing um, and, and invite them to join you too. Um, so grocery shop, meal prep on the weekends, um, planning ahead your containers. Um, you know, you can always, you did get a set of containers with this. If you've ordered a challenge pack previously, you probably already have a set. Um, you might have two sets now. Great. You can use those to plan and pack and plan ahead. Um, Amazon has really great meal prep containers. King Chef is the brand that I use and I've ordered and we get like 20 containers for like $12.99. And they're portioned out like a big and then two smaller ones, or you can get like two, um, two portions in your containers, um, kind of just like a TV dinner. Um, and they're BPA free, microwavable, um, dishwasher safe. So those are great to just pack and take meals with you on the go. Um, having a little cooler, um, something that you can take, you know, when you travel to and from work, um, things like that is going to be essential getting some extra ice packs little things like that that are necessary um target has really great containers for like salads and dressings and things like that um again those the containers that we have are great um, with the little orange ones for salad dressings and stuff too um some things that i keep in my pantry as staples always are quick cook oats instant brown rice um sweet potatoes um, I like the red potatoes. Um, I never buy just plain white russet potatoes. 
Um, <clears throat> they're just, the, they're not as nutrient dense as a sweet potato or as a red potato or a yam. Um, those are kind of just things that we keep in the pantry to use as carb sources. Lentils are great, quinoa, um, and then just keep on hand like apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, little things like that that you can toss on your salads um, and try to avoid um, commercially produced salad dressings. Like the craft salad dressings are just really not good at all. No nutritional value in those things. Um, there are some great recipes on, um, on Beach Buddy On Demand. You can access the Fixate cooking show, which is Autumn and her brother. They do a ton, of, it's like just little five minutes of cooking recipes. There's a ton of salad dressings on there. Um, so if you're a salad person, the dressing is your orange container and, um, and there's all kinds of goodies like that. Um, and then um, just fr having fresh fruit on hand is so great. Apples, bananas, oranges, little things like that that you can grab for quick snacking, especially if you are, you know, running from here to there. And sometimes keeping a little like bin in your car um, with, you know, some individual packets of peanut butter and fruit um, is not a bad idea. So that way, if you're in a bind, at least you have something. Um, <clears throat> again, don't combine meals on the meal plan. Um, so if for some reason your meals kind of get jumbled up, she does want you to follow kind of the order of things. But if you're in a bind and you have to eat your fruit and your protein when you weren't planning on it, just at least make sure that your all of your containers are getting in um, throughout the day. Um, batch cooking is a great way to kind of prep for the week. Um, we always cook about five pounds of chicken on Sunday or like some turkey burgers just to have in our fridge. So that way we can use them for meals. Cauliflower rice is great, super easy for steaming. Same thing with vegetables. Um, if you're not doing fresh or if you have, if, if you can buy some frozen veggies to have in your freezer too. So that way, excuse me, if your fresh veggies go bad, you have at least something in the freezer that you can steam or cook or something pretty quickly. <clears throat> um, and as far as oils, cause I do want to touch on that. The teaspoon is for oils. Um, I would say probably 100% coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, or like avocado oil. There's not really much else that is of good nutritional value, like canola oil. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would just, I would try to just stick to like the good oils and coconut oil. Most of the time it's solid. Um, you can melt that down and cook your vegetables in it. Um, you can take a teaspoon of coconut oil and mix it into like your eggs in the morning to use for cooking. Um, mix, I've mixed it into my oatmeal before. Um, you don't even taste it. It just kind of adds a little bit um, in there. Um, but that's a healthy fat and it's essential for continued fat burning, muscle growth, um, muscle regeneration. Um, 9.15. So I don't want to go too long. I think I've covered quite a bit. Um, anything you guys have questions about or anything you want me to touch on before I jump off? Let's talk about alcohol. Well, it's, well, it's fresh on my mind. Um, do you have to quit drinking for this program? That's up to you. What I'm going to tell you about alcohol is whenever we drink alcohol, our body, liver specifically, goes into metabolism for alcohol and kind of slows down our metabolism for fat. So anybody that um, has drank a lot before and noticed a like beer belly, yep, that's me, um, that's what happens with alcohol. That's because our we don't metabolize our fat and then we start to notice fatty deposits around as women specifically our abdomen our thighs our butt so if you're drinking a lot of alcohol during this program know that your metabolism isn't working in your favor it's helping your liver metabolize alcohol it's not metabolizing your fat so i like i'll tell you my bartending days 
I was very, very much skinny fat. I didn't eat much, I drank a lot, and I had a higher body fat percentage because I carried around my fat around my waist, around my butt, um, like you know your little birdie wings right here under your arms um, because I never metabolized fat. I just stored my fat. Um, so alcohol does have a tendency to do that. So I will caution you with drinking a lot consistently through this program. Now, is that, does that mean you have to quit drinking altogether? No, like life happens. I'm taking an LA trip in February with my husband and no kids. You can't tell me that I'm not going to have a couple drinks while I'm in LA on vacation with no kids. It's going to happen. But um, I'm going to do my workouts every day. I'm going to keep my nutrition spot on. And I'm going to remember that, you know, if I want to see 100% perfect results, then this is what I need to do and follow the program. But I also preach balance and living a life of happiness and health. And sometimes that means you have a glass of wine or you have a cocktail or you have a beer and nobody's going to shame you or judge you or anything like that. Um, because that's life and that's what we do. So don't feel like if you have a bad day, if you have a cheat day, if you don't get all your containers in, if you eat too much, if you eat too little, if you're stressed out, if your cortisol levels are through the roof and you're like, I'm freaking out because I'm way too stressed and I'm going to retain all this fat because my cortisol levels are too high. It's okay. Deep breaths. We're all beginners at this program. We've never done this program before. We are all starting on day one. We're doing this together. There are 70 of us in here that are going to support and love on and encourage each other. And we're going to make the best three months of our life. We're going to start this year off amazing. We're going to have an amazing beginning and, and we're going to cross the finish line together. So no matter what the next three months throws at, throws at us, know that you can always turn to this group for support and for love because we're all trucking along together. So I hope that took care of quite a bit of information for you guys tonight. I know it was a lot. I know it's a little overwhelming, but again, like deep breaths, don't stress one day at a time, celebrate your victories, share your struggles, um, link arms, and we are going to do this together. So anybody have anything else they want to add? Any questions or anything before we close out? Nope. All right, ladies. Well, thanks so much for getting on. I will post the recording in the link and put it in the file section as well. Um, and if you have any questions or anything along the way, just keep going. We're, we'll do it. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.